The final pairing on Saturday at the World Golf Championships, HSBC Champions will have a Ryder Cup feel to it as leader Graham McDowell will tee it up with Ian Poulter and Bubba Watson. But make no mistake, this time it's every man for himself. GMAC took the overnight lead after a round 167 and he did not slow down in Shanghai on Friday, carding his second consecutive 67 to reach double digits and take a three-shot lead heading into the weekend, thanks in part to this gutsy par save on the 11th, which no doubt spurred on this birdie on 14. Put another one down. And then number 14 in the world knocked it close on 15 for back-to-back -back birdies and to reach 10 under par. Ugh, finishes right at it. If McDowell's back nine was hot, Bubba Watson's was blazing. The reigning Masters champ strung together five consecutive birdies to complete his round, including this nice little chip in on the 16th. And then he nearly holed it for Eagle on the last, settling instead for a tap and birdie, a second round 67, and a spot in that final grouping. From near chip ins to ones that hit the bottom of the cup, check out Spieth's Eagle on the 14th. He had a roller coaster round, which included that eagle, a triple bogey, and everything in between for a second round to over 74. Speed, though, was not the only one on a roller coaster after kicking off his round with four birdies in his first six holes, including three lengthy birdies in a row on holes four. How about this? Five. Adam Scott trying to make another long one. Is they going to get there? Yes. And six. Oh, he made another <laughs> one. Aussie Adam Scott went quadruple bogey, double bogey on holes eight and nine, going from four under on the day to three over through 11. But then he did this. A 12-foot eagle on the 14th made up some ground, and then a nice approach on the 16th led to a birdie and getting back to an even par round. This game is crazy sometimes. All right, 36 holes stand between one man and the first WGC title of the 2014-2015 season. And remember to catch me right here on Saturday morning for everything you might have missed overnight on Moving Day.